You might not know this, but actress Rebel Wilson has a passion for real estate with a multi-million dollar portfolio of properties. Not only does she have some beautiful homes in her native Australia, but she also owns luxury residences from Los Angeles to New York. And today we're going to check them out, or at least a few of them. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After earning her big breakdown under on Australian TV series like Fat Pizza, actress and comedian Rebel Wilson made the leap to North America and successfully won over audiences there thanks to her performances in films like Jojo Rabbit and the Pitch Perfect series. Throughout the next few years, Rebel would become one of the most in-demand comic actresses around and earn herself an astounding $22 million net worth in the process. But here is something I bet most of you never would have expected. Rebel has invested the majority of her earnings in a gigantic real estate profile worth an estimated $16 million. That's right, Rebel owns homes all over the world. Starting in her hometown of Sydney, Australia, she not only owns two investment properties but also a waterfront home that acts as her primary residence. She's also been linked to the world famous paparazzi proof complex located in Tribeca, New York, where other celebrities like Justin Timberlake, Ryan Reynolds and Harry Styles call her neighbor. Finally, when she's on the west coast in Hollywood, filming one of her many movie or TV appearances, she kicks up her feet in an architectural masterpiece located in the Hollywood Hills. And that's still not every piece of property she owns. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at the homes of Rebel Wilson. Don't forget to like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. When not busy working overseas, Rebel likes to fly back to her hometown of Sydney and unwind in her phenomenal three bedroom property that she first picked up in 2014 for an estimated $3.76 million. Over the years since then, Rebel has apparently invested yet another $1 million into the property to renovate it, including the addition of a $70,000 elevator installed. Alongside the elevator, this home features 1,883 square feet of space including two bathrooms and of course some gorgeous views of the nearby waterfront. During the worldwide lockdowns last year, Rebel spent the majority of her time isolating at this property and even wound up taking part in a sexy photo shoot that showed off how she spent some of her intimate alone time. Outside of this gorgeous residence, Rebel also reportedly owned at least two more properties located in the suburb of Gladesville. The first unit she bought was in 2015 for $740,000. She then rented this space out at a rate of $595 a week before selling it in 2017 for $800,000. The second property was also located nearby. Rebel bought this ancillary home in 2017 for $885,000 and sold it a short time later at a slight loss for $880,000. After selling both of these homes, Rebel consolidated the money and picked herself up a new two bedroom apartment in the Sydney neighborhood of Balmain for reported $1.88 million. This striking red building used to be a former Lever Brothers soap factory before it was converted into a trendy apartment complex in the inner city suburb. If Rebel was charging close to $600 a week for her first place, I can only imagine what she charges tenants to live in this new paradise. Thanks to being one of the most in-demand comic actors working today, Rebel has had to purchase homes on both coasts of the United States for how often she works there. When she's visiting the East Coast, she checks into a 19th century loft located in the New York City neighborhood of Tribeca that's notorious for being paparazzi proof. Rebel also apparently got a great deal in the place, scooping it up at what was reported to be a significant discount of just $2.95 million. Hold on a second, how is that a discount? Well, in lavish NYC buildings, it definitely is. 
for all that money, Rebel got herself an apartment with 1,343 square feet of space, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an open space arrangement that includes her living, dining, and kitchen areas all combined into one. Of course, living in a building like this also comes with some extra bells and whistles, such as 24-hour door attendance, concierge services, a climate-controlled wine cellar, a 5,000-square-foot terrace, 71-foot indoor swimming pool, a fitness center, and of course, that five-star security. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna hop across the United States and wind up in La La Land, where Revel bought herself a magnificent $3 million home high up in the Hollywood Hills. While staying here, Rebel is basically living the American dream, thanks to not only the stunning views that come baked in, but also its gigantic interiors. To begin with, the entrance of this property is the first thing anyone would notice upon stepping foot inside. With her home clocking in at an epic 4,400 square feet of living space, I'm pretty sure about a third of that space is accounted for in the home's massive front foyer. This area not only features double height ceilings and chic wooden banisters, it's also got a console table by the door that's complemented by the accompanying mirror and orchid combo. Now for most people, the kitchen is one of the most important rooms in the house and Rebel is no exception. Her culinary space is extremely homey and made up of a giant marble kitchen island, a huge oven, some fancy window shutters, and some eggshell white cupboards. Meanwhile, the majority of her main floor is designed in an open floor plan that combines not one but two luxury lounges, and each one is just as stylish as the other. I honestly have no idea how Rebel decides which room to spend her time in. I'd want to sit in both at once. Whether it's her gray leather sofa with geometric monochrome cushions and a beautiful statement rug, or her lovely artwork hanging above the fireplace, Rebel has found a way to bring a classic feminine touch to all of the important parts of her home. Moving upstairs, we'll find four bedrooms, including her master ensuite, which Rebel showed off during a selfie session for Instagram. Here, you can see that the room is painted in a calming pale green and partnered with a bunch of white decor. Up top, there's a simple pendant light hanging from the ceiling, making this room eye-catching in its simple details and design elements. Out of the entire home, however, the showstopper is definitely her breathtaking and beautiful backyard that not only offers up some amazing views of Hollywood, but a dream pool that looks ideal for a dip, no matter what time of day it is. Seriously, with this many amazing homes to choose from, how does Rebel decide where to spend her days? Well, hold on, because that decision is about to get even more difficult. According to recent reports, she's about to add another property to her growing list, this one located in London, England. After spending a large portion of 2021 in England, filming her role for the upcoming drama The Almond and the Seahorse, Rebel fell so in love with the country that she just needed to buy a home there. Like, immediately. She told The Sun. I love England, I bought a place in London, so I'm sure I'll be spending a lot more time there in the future. During these past few months, Rebel has also undergone a total lifestyle change, dropping nearly 70 pounds in a truly dramatic makeover. On top of that, she's also looking to find love. She continued to the sun. I am someone who's established in my career, so is definitely on the hunt for love but it has to be the right person. After walking through her real estate profile, I'd say that her calling herself established is something of an understatement. When it's all said and done, maybe we'll look back at Rebel Wilson as a real estate mogul more than we'll remember her days as an actress. Yeah, on second thought, probably not. She's just too funny. Anyways, I think that wraps up our Rebel Wilson house tour. Out of the gorgeous properties we looked at, did you have a favorite? I think mine was her Hollywood crib. Be sure to leave your thoughts on Rebel's homes in the comments down below, including which house of hers you'd prefer to live in the most. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.